Hello everyone. This is my first video for Sean Petit's creative um, team member. And so what I'm doing is I got a piece of chipboard out of an old clipboard that I had and took the old plastic off and put some gesso on it. And I'm just um, went through my stash and looked, you know, for blue things and green things for grass. and. Um, after I sort of put down where I thought I wanted my elements to go, I love the collage process. So I just kind of took my time and putting, I, I know I don't have to be this picky about it, but I love the collage. So, so here I'm putting down some blue pieces for sky. So I started to lay down the green pieces for the part that's going to be the grass. But um, I keep a lot of, I keep little bins with different colors so that whenever I need a color for a certain thing, I can just go grab it. So here I'm using my ruler to cut out my fence posts for the gate. And they're gonna go on either side of the iron gate. I, I found the iron gate online and I printed it on tracing paper. Um, so I knew that's where I wanted to I wanted to build off of that. So I'm just taking some old um, book pages that I had that had some you know leftover paint on it and use that for the brick wall. Here I had some fun little um, tissue paper that my Aunt Emma had from her sewing stash that I inherited and just some cute little quilt things so I thought that that would add to the you know the squares of the bricks when I start to lay the bricks down so I thought that was kind of cute. Here I'm gonna start to lay down the um, beiges for the wall and I kind of wanted it to look like an old world feel like you would see around an English garden or something like that and then I started to put some blue down for the sky and I, I thought it was getting to be a little dark so I, I had to keep adding some white in there just to make sure I didn't get it too turquoise. I always love to lay down some green. It's like my very first favorite color. <laughs> I have a lot of favorite colors but anyway, green is definitely high on the list. Here I'm using Sean's Doodle Minis. They um, they come with a mask. Um, these are I guess these are the masks. Anyway, I really love them. I love the way that turned out. Um, just sketching around the posts a little bit, and the next thing I'm doing is I'm using the Pattern Six, which this I love this stencil. I'm probably using it in just about every single thing I do. <laughs> The little circles here are also from the Doodle Minis stencil. And then I'm starting with the Flower Silhouette 6 stencil, putting some leaves like there are some plants growing behind the fence or the uh, wall. Um, so then I'm going to be using the flower. So, and th Oh, that's from the little bird birds stencil. It's, um, there's like one little branch on there. And then now I'm using the bricks, which I love. I think they're called bricks. Bricks and bubbles stencil. And they're just perfect for when you just want just that old brick feel. I really, I really, really like them a lot. This is the uh, Flower Silhouette 3 stencil. Love it a lot too. I like a lot of them. Getting ready to um, use some matte medium to lay down the gate. And when I did it, I realized that the tracing paper started to crinkle up. So I didn't want that many wrinkles in the gate. <laughs> so I just peeled them up ever so gingerly and laid them back down again and it worked out just fine so 
that was good. Now here I'm laying down, um, I wanted them to be like red poppy flowers, even though some of them are not poppies. Um, that's the flower silhouette six, and then the flower silhouette two. So those are so cool because you can literally get so many different uh, views. You can turn them around and then they have small, medium, and large. And so I had some fun placing those where I wanted them and then put the leaves in and all. And I kept working on them and tweaking them until I got them how I wanted them. Just started to do a little shading and added some hinges, a little gate block or clasp. Then I'm using the um, warm gray pit pen just to try to do some shading on the wrought iron, but it, I don't know how well that worked out. But then I went back and lightened up the cloud look again with the pattern six, just to make it a little wider. And then I'm just gonna outline the flowers with, um, well actually, I did that for a second, and then I got a um, brown pastel and just started adding a little shading on the brick wall. And I don't know how I missed the bottom there, but I put the pebble path also using the doodle minis. Just going back over the flowers for some more definition with my um, General's Charcoal pencil, just to give them a little extra zhuzh. I just felt like I needed a little script in there with a white paint pen, so added a few little doolally flickers in there and some little um, highlights in the flowers. And to be honest, I could have sat here and tweaked it to death, but <laughs> um, I thought to myself, I need to wrap this up here pretty soon. So that's what I did. I think I put a couple of little gold touches on the gate and then I said okay I'm gonna call it a day um, my sentiment came from Isaiah 60 uh, 62 verse 10 go through go through the gates and that's uh, you can take that however you want it but I personally I just don't want to have fear I want to go through every gate every door that's open for me and so I hope that I hope that you can embrace that and I thank you so much for um, watching I'm so grateful for Sean the um, opportunity to be a creative team member for the next coming year with the other girls that were selected and thank you Sean and I really appreciate it, and I hope, I just can't wait to see what everybody makes. Have a great day.